Hi, I'm Stefan, a Senior Solutions Architect from AWS. Hi, I'm Erica, Senior Data Scientist at Parameter Solutions, and this is my architecture. Okay, Erica, it looks like a really interesting architecture that you brought today. I see you're using a text track, our AI service, and also generative AI service like Bedrock. Maybe you tell us what kind of business problem are you trying to solve with this architecture? Sure. So at Parameter Solutions, we're the data arm of TPI Cap, mm -hmm. and that's one of the world's largest interdealer brokers. We consume the data that the brokers produce, and we try to create products. For each product we create, we have to write a methodology, and okay. because we're regulated, these methodologies need to comply with regulation. Okay, so those are our most important document types for yes. this architecture. So who's working with these documents and what's happening? So we have the governance and risk team here. Okay. And we also have the product team. The product right. team write the methodologies. The Good. governance and risk team make sure the methodologies comply with the regulation. Okay. So and then there's this parameter regulatory tool. And this is probably the system where they interact with what's happening here. Um, so the this is our UI here, and this is our one port of call for people to work with both regulations and methodologies. Okay, and I see you're using AppSync here, so it's probably that there's an API uh, served by AppSync and the user interface is consuming that, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, cool. So somebody from governance and risk would upload a regulation document via our UI using AppSync, right. and this would get dropped into an S3 bucket. Okay. This would then trigger an event, mm -hmm. and we'll start this step function here. OK, so it's kind of a workflow that we started now since the document is updated. So what's happening inside the workflow? What are you doing with the regulations documents? So if it detects that it's a regulation, mm -hmm. it triggers um, a text rack job here okay. to remove the text from the PDF that we've uploaded. Mm -hmm. We write the output from this text rack into this S3 bucket. We then have this custom Lambda here that we had to write to parse out and extract particular articles and subarticles. Oh, so you're interested in specific parts of the regulations documents, and that's why you had to write this custom Lambda. OK, cool. That's right. And then the output of that gets written to uh, DynamoDB. Mm -hmm. We can then surface the nice digitized version of this table in the UI, and people from the governance and risk team can view and interact with it here on our UI. Cool, nice. So what happens next? So what's, what about the methodologies? The methodologies, similarly, they will get uploaded to this UI. Right. And again, using AppSync, uploaded to an input bucket. Mm -hmm. But this time, via the step function, it will go down a different stream of work. For, because it's different document type. For right? different document type. Got it. Yes. OK. Exactly. But similarly, we'll set off a text track job, mm -hmm. and we'll write the output of that to this S3 bucket. OK. And we have a different uh, Lambda function for parsing this methodology. OK, so in what way is it different? Um, because the methodologies tend to just be free text, we don't need to parse it out into articles and subarticles okay. the way we did for the. Got it. The also, the separation here helps you to maintain the entire solution, right? Yes. So when you parse the methodology, what happens next? Um, so when the person uploads the methodology, they have to pair it with a specific regulation. Because mm -hmm. the goal is, can we go through each piece of regulation, each article, and show that this methodology complies with it? And that's kind of the key business problem, right? Yeah. So we want to make sure that the methodology we create is really in line with all the regulations that we have. Okay. That's right. How do you do that? That's where we brought in Bedrock here. Oh, okay. So we had to write a few different lambdas. So first, nice and easy, was to just do a text summary of um, summarizing what is this methodology mm -hmm. and what's it, what product is it describing. Yeah. But the main uh, goal that we wanted was to build a table mm -hmm. that would say for each article, this is the part of the methodology yeah. that corresponds with that. Got it. And we also asked it to say whether or not it thought it was compliant. And if not, how could you improve it? So you're making recommendations using Bedrock? Yes, we are. Cool. OK, cool, cool. cool. So um, what do you do with the recommendations? How, is it, how are they processed and presented to the users? Um, we write it to DynamoDB as a table that then also gets surfaced here for both the governance team and the product team to review. Cool. And um, for the product team, is there any other way that they can interact with the system? Um, yeah, we built an extra chatbot feature so that they could 
look into the methodologies. So they can just uh, type questions into the UI to find out more details about me the methodology. We fed in the whole methodology just as context to the prompt. Got it. So they can basically chat with the documents and ask you know, simple questions and then get them an answer. And so they save time, right? Yeah. OK, so how was it to you know, integrate uh, Bedrock in this kind of solution? Can you talk about that? Um, it was very straightforward, actually. We just had a few lambdas firing at Bedrock. And um, by having these separate lambdas, we could do different prompt engineering in each for each goal that we're trying to do. So text summary is probably the easiest to create. Mm -hmm. um, but we found that it was very easy to experiment with different models. You could just switch them in and out with a line of code. Okay. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of freedom to do some prompt engineering, get some feedback on the results from our various teams who know what they're looking for, and Got it. Mm -hmm. iterate through and improve. And so the, the key thing here is that Bedrock provides you the flexibility to access different models, right? Also, you know, different version changes quite easily. And then the second thing was that you, you know, invested quite some time in prompt engineering and talking mm -hmm. to your customers to evolve the solution, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, so thank you for sharing this architecture with us today.